Here we go, playing with fire again. I can't believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally, like, years, man. Vashti. You might remember from a while back when we did the fire bottles video. I mean, it was a long time ago, but basically it went like this. Yes, that is so much fun. Um, always a good time. So, you know, I thought we'd try something kind of along those lines, but a little different. Uh, this time it's going to involve some long glass tubes. Yeah. That too was pretty nice, but we can't stop there because we've got this big bad boy. I've got a I've got a cool idea for this one too. one more thing I want to try with the big one so uh, it involves tapping it off. Alright so I added the tube to my old still stand which uh, I have a video idea for that. You guys will find out soon enough what, what this whole stupid looking stand is all about. Anyway the tube's on here we're gonna put some alcohol in it and you know we'll light it up again and go do the thing.
really the idea is quite simple. We're using some isopro isopropyl alcohol um, and putting that in the tube uh, that, uh, you know, burns. Uh, this stuff burns pretty good, so, uh, you know, be careful. We put the alcohol in the tube and roll it around a little bit, get it to vaporize nice and well. Mixes with the air and we get the right fuel to air ratio. Yeah, kind of like what happens in your car's engine. And that burns really, really quickly. So as it burns through the tube, you can actually watch the fire go. It's, uh, it's actually pretty fascinating. So I think that was pretty cool seeing the different flames move through the different size tubes. But of course, the, the big one being the most fascinating with that sound. Wow, it's really cool. That sound comes from the change in air pressure with the fire running through the tube very quickly. It's, uh, it's a well-known thing in physics, but it's kind of complicated, so let's not get into it. But it's really cool to see that actually happen, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I, I thought it was, it was pretty fun. Oh, and you probably should not try this one at home. It's not horribly dangerous, but the isopropyl alcohol is extremely flammable and has a tendency to drip all over the place, so if you're not paying attention, which is easy to do sometimes, you might end up setting your house on fire and that would be bad. So uh, just enjoy the video and, and, and don't try it at home. Thank you guys for watching and hitting that subscribe button. I really sincerely appreciate you watching and uh, sharing my videos with others so that they can see them as well. It's uh, pretty cool watching the numbers go up on them and seeing how many of you guys are hitting that subscribe button. That is awesome. I honestly sincerely thank you guys so much I, I, I truly appreciate it you can also go check out the merch store over at thesciencepirate.com the brand new website I, I put a link up here uh, so you can go check it out there's a uh, brand new merchandise and I've also added a section over at the website where you can help me make videos you know if you do feel so inclined if you really enjoy these videos head on over to the website and click that donate button I'd sure appreciate it Alright, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.